now the first step is to update your game so if there is any update let the update complete once the update is complete now try to launch the game still you are facing the problem next step is to restart your computer do not ignore this step just restart your computer once and after the system restart try launching the game now the next step is to try previous build now for this go to steam and then make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the beta tab and over here select previous default build and once you select it there will be update let the update complete and then you can launch the game and then check but whenever you want to switch back to the current one you can go to beta once again and you can select the you can select none whenever you want to switch now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now make a right click on the game exe file and select properties and then go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then click on apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game from here and check if there is any other exe file so that's the only exe file now still not working you can make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then again this time put a check over here select windows 8 and then click on apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game if that does not work this time select windows 7 and then put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization apply ok make a double click launch the game still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes so when you put a check if not if it's not working you can uncheck all these boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to try dx11 in launch option so make a right click on the game and then select properties in the launch option type in dash d3 d11 d3 d11 now launch the game and then check still not working this time type in dash dx11 now launch the game and then check still not working this time type in dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now for this make a right click on the game and then select properties go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is complete now you can launch the game and then check next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus just make sure that you allow the game exe file to antivirus program if you are using windows setting uh, windows security then go to windows settings in windows 11 go to privacy and security now click on windows security if you have windows 10 you will have an option update in security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game install the c drive open c drive program files x86 and then open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder and then open the game folder yeah open the game folder and then select the game exe file now click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now go to the go to system and security windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added if once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check next step is to 
perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for nvidia now you can go to nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's g 46 penis select your product type and then select the right product series for me it's 30 series so i will select 30 series make sure that you select your product series and then select your graphic card so make sure that you select your graphic card over here and if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 this will be game ready driver and then english united states now click on search and then click on download and once the download is complete run this exe file so click on download once again and then you have to run the exe file now once you once the download is complete uh, you have to run the exe file and once you run the exe file click on ok and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation now this is important so make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete let it complete and once that is complete restart the computer and then launch the game now the next step is to roll back graphics driver to older version so you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then click on start search and then scroll down and then you have to select the older version so right now the latest geforce game ready driver version is 552 period 1 2 you can try driver version 551.86 or maybe 551.76 so download the older version now click on download now and then run the exe file and again this time when you install the driver put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and after the clean installation restart your computer and then check still not working then run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box type in graphic settings and then click on graphic settings now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file now click on add once the game is added over here now click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM 
so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to create a backup or rename or you can delete the same game file. But before you do this, just let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress when you rename or delete the save game files. Now to rename the save game files, you can open the file explorer, this PC, C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data folder. If you don't see app data on the top, click on view, select show and then put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Now open the local low folder and scroll down. And here you can, I think this is the folder. Open this folder. Now open infection free zone folder. Now here you can find all your save game files. So you can go back and you can rename this infection free zone to maybe dot old. Whatever you want, you can rename it. And after the rename, you can try to launch the game, but the game will start from scratch. Still not working. You can delete the save game files but you will lose all the game progress and once it is deleted you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to install visual C++ file. Now for this copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see visual studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Download x86 and then run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. In my case, it is already installed. So it's giving me the error message. Just ignore it. It's telling me to restart my computer. So just ignore it. Now download x64. And once the download is complete, run this exe file as well. run this exe file x64 file you have to download both x86 and x64 now click on repair or install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete now once both the installation are complete you will see a restart option like this make sure both are installed and then you can restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to unplug external devices from the computer so if you have these devices connected disconnected also, if you have additional controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. And if you have any third party services running, you can close it. And disable Steam overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties. And then over here, you can see the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. You can turn this off. Also, if you have any other overlay applications such as if you have Discord running or GeForce experience running. So close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner revert tuner or any other overclocking application close it and then launch the game now to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all so first of all, make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So click on disable all and then click on apply. Click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart a computer and then launch the game. Next step is to remove the undervolt. So if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update your windows to the latest version. So make sure that your windows is up to date. Go to Windows Update or Update in Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed, now you can restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to, you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game. If you are able to launch the game, you can switch to Window Mode, lower down Graphics Settings. So first of all, you can launch the game if you are able to launch the game.
now go to settings and then let me close this go to settings and then go to display now over here if if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p or you can even lower down more now if it is set to full screen you can try window mode and you can turn off the vsync and then check you can set the frame rate to 60 or maybe 120 i'll set it to 60. now if the graphics level are set to ultra you can try very high high or medium you can switch to medium over here and then apply the settings apply the settings and then check the performance now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can make a right click on the game select manage then you got uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if you have installed the game to another drive like maybe d drive or f drive so you can try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed in c drive then you can try installing to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel